welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I am participating in an Artsy Cupcake Challenge hosted by Artsy Cupcake and her co-host for this month is Stuff Moms Have Time For. Um, so for this challenge it is the theme is Valentine's Day and uh, I will be baking uh, some chocolate covered strawberry, strawberry cupcakes. So I will have um, the RC Cupcake and Stuff Moms Have Time For, link down below in the description box, their channels, and I will also have the playlist linked down below so you can check out what everybody else is doing. There might be some DIY display, cupcake displays, and tons of different cupcake recipes, so make sure you check it out. So without further ado, let's get baking. So for this RC Cupcake Challenge, I am making chocolate covered strawberry cupcakes. I have printed out my recipe. And I will also link the recipe down below in my description box for all the measurements so that way you have them. <clears throat> so, for the cupcake, you will need um, two ounces of unsweetened chopped um, chocolate, uh, baker's chocolate. Then you will need one cup of all-purpose flour. Uh, unsweetened cocoa powder, a quarter of a cup, uh, some baking soda, so I have half a teaspoon of baking soda and quarter of a teaspoon of salt in here. Then you'll need a cup of sugar, just granulated sugar, a uh, quarter cup of unsalted butter, softened. This one's getting softer. And then one large egg yolk and one large egg. Vanilla extract, uh, you will need one and a half teaspoons. Sour cream, half a cup. And then I'm boiling my water as well. And you will need half a cup of boiling water. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I had purchased these baking cups, uh, the Valentine's baking cups. For, from Dollarama and I'm going to line my muffin pan. And I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. So now I'm going to whisk all my dry ingredients like flour, cocoa powder, baking soda and salt for about 20 seconds and then I'm gonna set it aside. So I'm adding my flour, my cocoa powder, my salt and baking soda, and I'm going to whisk it for about 20 seconds. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm going to melt my chocolate in a microwave and I'm gonna mix it every 20 seconds until it's melted. So I had melted the chocolate. I'm going to use my electric mixer. It says to use a, you can use a handheld. I'm just gonna use my big one. And I am going to add my butter. my sugar I'm going to cream it I'm going to switch my paddles Vanilla extract, and my 
melted chocolate. And now I'm gonna add my sour cream. So I'm going to switch out my paddle. And on a low, I'm going to start adding my flour mixture. Now that when my batter had a chance to combine, I am going to start slowly adding the half a cup of boiling water. doing a little bit at a time and now I'm going to turn it to medium low speed for about a minute for the strawberry buttercream frosting I I need freeze dried strawberries I do not know where to find freeze dried strawberries so I just have frozen strawberries I googled it and said it was okay to substitute um, this I'm gonna make a strawberry puree from fresh strawberries so then I need three quarter of a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla, and three and one quarter cups of powdered sugar. 390 grams for your opinions. So I'm going to roll the frozen strawberries until it makes a powder. Now I am going to strain it. So I strained, strained it so that way there's no seeds. Now I'm going to puree my strawberries and I want to have about a cup of the a puree. Now I'm going to strain it as well. strain the fresh strawberries as well from the seeds and now I'm going to reduce the three quarters of a cup to a quarter of a cup um, that should take about 10 minutes and you just need to stir occasionally so now it's reduced to a quarter cup and this is gonna go in the fridge to cool off so now I'm gonna get my buttercream uh, icing set up and I'm going to um, uh, cream my butter first uh, just now I'm gonna add my powdered sugar. String yeah. strawberries and strawberry puree. I'm going to fill up my Walton piping bag with a number 32 tip. Hopefully it'll work. I'm not very good at this, but... So I'm going to melt chocolate and I washed some strawberries to dip them into the chocolate. 
So I had dipped my uh, strawberries into the chocolate that I had melted in a microwave and I'm just leaving them out here to um, set. And I'm gonna put them in ha on half of them because I don't personally like chocolate covered strawberries. Here they are all finished. I think they look so cute. So I'd like to thank RC Cupcake and Stuff Moms Have Time For for hosting this challenge. I love participating in challenges, so this is right up my alley. Love baking too. So uh, and so I hope you enjoyed my recipe. Um, the cupcakes did taste delicious. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell. I do uh, lots of different videos, cooking, cleaning, uh, DIYing, so I'm um, sure there's something for everyone. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching.